Welcome back to ACAS Cloud AWS Zero to Hero training series. Today we will look into AWS Cognito service. Amazon Cognito is a customer identity and access management. Okay. Um, like, um, let's take an example of uh, Twitter. So, this is a Twitter homepage. So, in the homepage itself, if you have an account with uh, uh, Twitter, you, you can use the sign in button. Using the sign in button, you use your username and password, you can log in and access the authorized content. Suppose if you don't have an account with uh, Twitter, there is an, there are three options here. The first option is like, if you have a Gmail account, you can use your Gmail account and uh, using the Gmail account, you can authorize with Twitter and you can access the content. Also, if you have an Apple account, you can use your Apple account to authorize the Twitter and you can log in and access the content or if you don't have if you don't want to use your google or apple account you can create account option you can use the create account option so if you click on create account it will prompt you to enter some details like uh, enter your name email address mobile right and after submitting a verification code an otp will be sending to your respective email id or your mobile once the authorization activity is completed you will be logged in as simple it is this is the modern application is configured and configuring this this kind of interface may be complicated sometimes and if you don't want to maintain the user database or this security uh, sign on info sign on page you can use the cognito okay so for today's demo what we will be doing we will create we will provision an ec2 instance provision ec2 instance and uh, it, it's it's an aws linux amazon linux amazon linux and we will configure the apache httpd service apache httpd service we'll start and enable enable the service once that is done what we will do we will create some basic pages like uh, you know the default web page is var www html and we will create some some html pages like uh, index.html and uh, login we'll create a logged underscore in html page and also we will create a logged out dot html page okay and we'll move to the cognito service and that cognito service we will map to the http service in the ec2 instance i hope that is clear so let's move into the actual demo let's close twitter and i think i have already provisioned the ec2 instance and you can see my EC2 instance is currently running. I have also logged into the EC2 instance wherein you can see the um, the HTTP service status. SU2 DNF, uh, sorry, system CTL status HTTPD. So HTTPD service is running and it is enabled. Let's try to access the page. This is the IP address and uh, I'm getting the default page. Let's try to edit the content. okay so as you do vi i'm going to use var www html index.html okay okay body i closed h3 i closed pi closed href a i missed it here okay wk let's try to access the page now okay welcome to magic pen and here is the create login right now there are no url i mapped here so this is the basic page let's create two more pages like um, in the same location and this is the index.html is the home page and i'm going to create a logged in logged underscore in dot html 
Okay. Save that page. You can access that page using curl localhost slash logged underscore in dot html okay you'll get the content now let's go to the let's create another file called logged out html and um, can access the content using curl okay I'm getting that page so we have created uh, three web pages okay so index.html loggedin.html and loggedout.html we'll access those pages from here as well slash logged underscore in dot html Okay, happy to see you again but there is no action currently nothing is configured and uh, logged out you are locked if you click here. now let's configure the AWS Cognito service okay to get the Cognito service you have to type Cognito in the search button and uh, add into the favorite bar since I have already added in the favorite bar I clicked here and I got the page the first thing is you have to create a user pool I'm clicking on the user pool there are two options the first one is mandatory so that's the reason it is grayed out selected and grayed out that is the cognito user pool okay and if you want to create a cognito user pool along with a federated identity you can also select federated identity means suppose an application is there and you want to authenticate via your google account or your facebook account or your apple account you can use the federated identity provider i'm not going to complicate my uh, demo so i'm selecting cognito user pool so when a user uh, want to sign up which all information or sign in which all information he need to provide and just username and email that's it i don't want to enable the phone number because an otp will be sending to the phone and it might be chargeable you can secure your uh, your authentication process by allowing these two options i don't want to complicate it okay, next and this uh, this is the password policy the default eight character with one number one special character one uppercase one lowercase this is the default one if you want to change the default one you can select the custom and change your preference i'm going to disable the multi-factor authentication since this is a demo user account recovery is basically when you forgot your password if you enable this then only the page will be showing the forgot password or recover your uh, sign on information like that if you disable it you won't be able to recover your email id email id and when while recovering destination cognito will send the uh, recovery information whether it is email or sms or both email or sms like that i have selected only email so enable self-registration enable self-registration in the sense like twitter or facebook anybody can create an account with uh, facebook right if, if this not enabled what uh, what does this mean like you need to create manually create a user and password and send those information directly to the user via email or text then only he will be able to log in he won't be getting an option to create account so that's why we enabled enable self-registration these are the default options you can read or i'm leaving all these options as default email address again there are some required attributes email I'm, I'm adding full name here once you created you can you cannot change all these attributes anyway click on next uh, the email system uh, and Amazon has a feature called SCS simple email service so if you want to club the simply simple email service you can select this I don't want to use the uh, SES I want to use the only the Cognito default Cognito wherein the co whenever we authenticate with uh, um, our application using Cognito we will be uh, getting a verification emails from Cognito service not from the SES that's it and you want to customize all these options yes you can add it I'm going to provide a name magic pan user demo user pool yes I'm going to use the definitely this option is needed I'm going to use the 
cognito hosted UI and uh, you say cognito domain which domain we, we will use here I'm going to use magic pan magic pan just added magic pan that's it and this this application the application which I have hosted in my EC2 instance is publicly accessible so public client I added and this is the application name of my EC2 instance I'm going to provide a name like um, magic pan web app that's it don't want to generate a client secret okay now we need to set up the allowed callback URL so after providing the username and password and after you are authorized which page need to be uh, displayed so like uh, we have set up an application here right I have web page so the home page is index.html and from there we will logged in after login we need to get the logged.html stating uh, welcome to my application or something like that, something that we have added here right so that page should display after the authorization okay so what we are what I'm going to do I'm going to add the local host colon my website web server is running in port 80 logged underscore in dot HTML this is the page after the authorization after my entering my username and password once it is validated this page should be displayed that's the meaning okay I have provided the callback URL here I'm leaving all other option as default okay clicking on next now I'm going to review all the options which I have added here okay creating the user pool now okay let's verify the settings now I can also create an option like create user so if I'm creating a user here and setting a password definitely uh, the uh, the the end user can log in using the provided credentials okay and again groups if you want to uh, create some level of security or permissioning you can create groups and add the users into respective groups here is the sign in experience which we configure during the creation of the user pool so for sign in we need uh, to provide a, a user need to provide his username and email and if you want to update uh, the user login process via a third party identity provider like Google or Gmail you can add those information or if you want to add the MFA you can edit and add the MFA settings here password policy and this is the account recovery option which we added so all options are here and again the sign up experience for signing up we have to provide a email and name this is what we configured during the creation of the user pool yeah that's it and let's let's go to the app integration part wherein we provided the we provided what we provided a name for our app and a login page so after entering the username and password which page should be displayed a logged in page this is the page will be displayed and there should be a page for the sign out let me edit it hey here is the sign out URL so you know that we have created the three files right ls war ww html yeah ls minus l so better view okay so index.html index.html is the default page see let me take that index.html here so this is the home page of my website since I did not configure any authentication mechanism I want Cognito handle my the authentication process user creation and everything so when I click here a Cognito a new page will open wherein it will ask to enter your credential okay if you don't have a credential it will prompt you to create credential so once that uh, the user creation and the password everything is completed you will be redirect to a page called loggedin.html I'll show you that loggedin.html 
okay and uh, once you are done with the website uh, i mean content after watching the content you will be log out i mean when you click on log out what action need to be done that is also we need to configure in the log out uh, hyperlink so currently nothing is configured so this is what we are going to do now okay. so to configure the cognito in my website what i need to do go to the the app client and uh, here is the view hosted ui under the hosted ui section so click on view hosted ui and uh, this will redirect to a page okay so this is the home page of the sign in i mean this is the cognito sign in page just copy the address okay and paste the content into the your html page so i have already logged into the ec2 instance we need to edit the the home page it what www.html index.html so in the index.html page this is the hyperlink right currently it is just a hash symbol so in edit mode what i'm going to do i'm just deleting the content and just pasting the redirected redirecting url so when i click on that button it will redirect to the login page that's the whole intention just saved it now let's let's check the website once again closing here yeah this is my home page website home page when i click here see it is prompting me to enter my credential if if i don't have an account what i can do i can click on sign up and uh, i'm providing a name nikhil kg like pretty full name gmail.com and typing a password let it be a strong password sign up now my password is updated a verification code is now sent to my gmail id cognito and my confirmation code is 141722 okay 141722 just confirm the code okay uh, we got this page uh, because after sign up what action need to be done which we have not defined so that's the reason we are getting this page but yes we have configured successful authentication like after entering your username and password which page should be displayed that we have already configured that is logged in dot html right but here this is not the case this has to be written in the application configuration which we, which we have not done let's look into the user pool the magic pan demo user pool see that user came here okay so what happened here like when i see when i click here i mean when i click the home page and click click here to log in it redirected to the page and i sign up since i don't have, since, since i was not having any account i click on the sign up and created a user and password i authenticated using an otp what happened that user got created in my user pool okay and since i already authenticated using my otp the confirmation status is showing confirmed as simple it is so this is what the whole intention so who will manage the password the user is responsible for his password but we can set up what kind of password he need to provide that we set up while we create the user pool right so in sign sign in experience you can see the what the password policies and mfs settings it's simple as it is we don't need to manage any of this security part amazon will take amazon cognito will take care all the user login process user management and the security related to the login process that's the whole intention of this demo okay i hope uh, this is clear so when we enter it will be redirected to the logged in dot logged in dot html page